Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, some computer security issues. So the number one thing in computer security, in fact, what all security boils down to is a password. Every single sys computer system has usernames and passwords. That's what all security boils down to. So when you create passwords and when you use passwords, it's important for you to create, number one, strong passwords, and number two, to secure those passwords appropriately. That means that you don't write your password to your computer down on a sticky note and put it in a drawer next to the computer. Or you don't, um, uh, you know, tape it on a label underneath the computer, okay, because the computer might as well not have a password at all at that point. Also, when you're creating passwords, um, many websites will, will have um, uh, rules for creating passwords. So a common rule would be that uh, you want to have a mixture of upper and lowercase letters as well as special characters. And special characters are things like the, uh, uh, um, the exclamation point, at sign, hash, t hash mark, the dollar sign, anything where you hit, where you press shift and a number is a special character, basically. And some of these are legal and some of them are not. Usually it's shift one through shift eight are the special characters that you're able to use in a password. Okay, so once your password is, that's the first step in security is a, is a strong uh, and appropriately stored password. Um, so let's talk about a couple other things on Windows that are that will keep your computer secured. Windows has a great area. It's in the control panel. Okay, system and security. So if we click on the system and security, we can go to um, the Windows firewall. Okay, so that's one thing uh, that we can start out with. Uh, we definitely want to uh, make the Windows firewall, we want to have that turned on. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead, currently my Windows firewall is not turned on, so we want to um, we want to use the recommended settings. Okay, so I just turned the uh, the firewall on for both home networks and public networks. Okay, uh, there will be some cases where if you're doing something on your computer, your firewall may cause problems. Um, in those cases, sometimes you need to turn it off for some troubleshooting, but you should turn it immediately back on. Okay, let's go back um, to system and security. Uh, we also want to make sure, um, we also want to um, take a, a look at this uh, action center. Okay, so in the action center, um, it goes through some of the different things. So your Windows Security Center service is important. We're going to go ahead and turn that on. Oops. And on this computer, it can't be started. On your computer, you definitely want to have it started. Windows Defender, you want to have it scanned on a regular basis, so you should go ahead and scan that. Um, the other things that you can do in Windows is actually set up recovery. Okay, so um, so you'd actually want to set up a backup. Uh, and that means that you store a uh, copy of your computer files on some other part of your computer. Okay, so this would be a, a drive that you set up or something where you can actually set up your backup. Okay, so those things, if you, uh, if you back up your files and you have Security Center set on, Windows Defender set on, the only last thing that you would need to do is have an antivirus. And there are plenty of great free antiviruses out there. I, I use Panda uh, Antivirus. I can go ahead and click on it right here. Okay, so this is Panda Cloud Antivirus Free. It works great, um, and it's free. Um, so in your company um, or your organization at your school, if you have a device from them, all of this stuff is taken care of for you. Uh, your password is, is, they make you have a, a strong password, they, they have your backup set up for you, um, they have a security center turned on, they have your firewall turned on, uh, Windows Defender scans your computer regularly, uh, but if you're at home, all these things are your responsibility. Okay, so um, the main thing, the, the one thing that is most not done by people is to back up their files. Okay, it's, it, it, it tends to be um, something that people look at as a waste of time, So, but it's not. If you've ever lost a hard drive, everything on your computer would be gone. Okay, So it's very important to set up a backup. The most efficient way to do this is, that is by storing everything in one place. So if I store everything that I work on in my My Documents 
if every last thing that I work on is in my My Documents, it's very easy to back up because then I can just save one folder. I go to Documents, oops, oops. So to back up my My Documents, I would basically go to My Documents. I could select all the folders in here and move them to a flash drive or somewhere else to back them up. I could also go to the um, the screen that we were on and set up a backup, um, a Windows backup. Um, you can also, Windows has a couple different features for backup. You can do full system backups and recoveries uh, to a different physical disk, so that's a different hard drive. You can also do backup and restore. Um, so uh, you can create a system image, that's the whole system restore disk. And then you can also set up a backup and that just copies files from one place on your computer to somewhere else. Um, honestly, a manual backup is probably you know, enough for a lot of people. Okay, so if you, you know, every couple of weeks, if you just copy over your most important files, um, you know, you, and then every, you know, if you just, you know, you're mainly working on your schoolwork, if you just copy that file over every every week, and then every couple of months you do your, your other files, you know, that's enough for most people. Okay, but you need to come up with some kind of solution for your backup if you're an individual user. Okay, so let's just review. So for security on your computer, you have strong passwords that you keep in appropriate manner. You have your antivirus installed and updated and running all the time. You have your, in your control panel, you have your Windows firewall on at all times, unless you have a real need for it. And then in the action center, you uh, review your system, your computer's status and resolve issues. So all of these things should be set up. There should be no issues in here. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about your network. Okay, so, so that takes care of your physical computer and a lot of the things on your network. The one thing that some people uh, do overlook on their computer for security is the vulnerability over the network. So let's take a look at our network. So I'm here I'm connected at work uh, uh, to a, a particular network. You'll notice that it's I-21 wireless is the one I'm connected to. Um, if I open the network and sharing, You'll notice that I've said that this is a public network. Okay, so if it's a public network, if it's a public network, it has different rules than home networks. So if I attach, if I attach to a new network, it asks me this. Maybe you've seen this uh, this dialog. If I attach to a new network, it gives me this dialog box. It says this is a home, work, or public network. Well, you may not think too much about it, but the fact of the matter is, is that it makes a big difference in how your computer treats other computers on that network. Um, if you are not in a completely trusted area, that means if you're not inside your work network, if you're not inside your school network network, if you're not inside your home network, you definitely would want to click public network. I, I personally click public network no matter what. Okay. If you want to change this for any particular network, if you looked at how we did that, I right clicked open network and sharing center then I clicked on the public network just below the network name. Okay, then I can click on homework or public to reset that value. Okay, so let's take a look at um. Uh, let's take a look at these change advanced sharing settings. Okay, so so in addition to this, now I can look at change advanced sharing settings, and this is what this is how your computer treats. Um, uh, data coming into it on the network. Okay, so if you notice, I don't have this computer set up in a very secure manner. So if our public, this is our current profile, we turn to network discoveries off so I can't see other computers on the network, they can't see me. Uh, uh, file and print sharing is turned off. Public, public folder sharing is turned off. Um, and password protected sharing is turned on. Now let's take a look at how that's different from my home and work network. Okay, so at home and work, uh, I actually have it turned off. In general, I have this turned on. I've only turned it off to save system resources. So file and print sharing is turned on. Usually, but by default, public sharing is turned off or turned on by default. Okay, so that means if you select home network, anybody can write anything to your computer uh, if they only ask access the public network. And password protection sharing is turned on. Okay, so that takes care of our network. Okay, 
One last thing uh, is, and that that's in regard to our browser. So, so most people interact with the network mainly through their browser. They 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 go online, they go to different websites. One of the things that you really want to be careful with online is installing anything online. So that is a that is a um, that is a really uh, sketchy situation to be in, uh, a dicey situation online. So let me give you an example of this. So we have. Um, this is a this is a website where you can download uh, YouTube videos, which is perfectly legal in a lot of cases. Um, so if we go to this this website, you'll notice that uh, often a uh, a Java uh, warning will will actually show up here. So let's say that we want to um, Go to YouTube, okay, and we want to, we have a, a firewall here at my work. Okay, and let's say that I want to download some particular uh, say I want to download this robot video. Okay, so I go to this keep vid and I click download. Okay, and here's what I get. I get a Windows security, do I want to run this Java application uh, for this website? Okay, now I have a decision to make. And do I trust this website? Because by clicking run, they can run any code that they want on my computer. At the same time, you'll notice that there is a Java icon down here in the system tray. Now, current viruses, the most dangerous viruses currently, are downloaded via Java. Um, they, usually you won't even see this. Um, if it was an actual virus, you wouldn't even see this warning. Uh, it would just launch automatically and download. In fact, uh, there's there's been a rash of these type of viruses. So, one way to combat this is to actually go in and adjust what what virus or what add-ins are run by Firefox. So, if we go to Firefox add-ons uh, and we go to uh, extensions and plugins, okay, you'll notice that I have actually uh, I've actually I disable things when I'm not using them. So if I have things in here that I that I'm not using currently, I go ahead and disable those items. Okay. So uh, if I go to plugins in general, I would actually have the Java platforms disabled. Okay. And then when I needed them again, I would go ahead and, and enable them. Okay. So that's a way that I personally keep my, my system secure, and it's something you might want to look at. It's very easy then if, you know, the, the website will notify you that you need Java. It's very easy to go back in and turn it on when you actually need it. Okay, so uh, we've tro covered, we have covered a few things. We covered password security. We covered keeping Windows and your files secure in Windows by doing backups and having antivirus and firewall in order. Uh, we've also talked about the type of network connections and keeping, you know, your you're choosing the type of network that you're on and keeping that network uh, from automatically sharing all of your files or access to your computer. And then we've talked a little bit about browser security. So I hope this helps. Good luck.